Well, since I can't record games and I'm not going to use Twitch because I fucking hate it, this caught my eye. The dark side is a personality disorder? While it's true that a lot of characters in Star Wars that go over to the dark side have pre-existing personality disorders, the dark side itself is not a personality disorder. It's just more prone to take action. While in contrast and in balance, the light side's more prone to sit on its ass and think about what it should do. And this is why I say, quite simply, that each individual needs to be balanced with both instead of one over the other. Because corruption is taking and separating things that are two halves of the same whole, purifying them separately from one another, and saying, this is absolute. I mean, um, let me put it in another way. Dealing in absolutes is the way of the Sith. The real Sith, not the dark side force users. Think about it. Because if each individual uses a balance of equal parts, dark side and light side, then they'll be prone to take action after thinking about it. And thinking about the best course of action to be taken. As opposed to sitting on their ass their entire lives or just violently taking action without a single thought. And throughout all the games and all the movies, this running theme of light side pacifism and dark side taking rash action without thought has been a core running gag throughout all of Star Wars, except with Darth Treya. She actually waited real patiently to take action after thinking about the best course of action to take to accomplish the goal she wanted to accomplish. Which was a clusterfuck of balance. Well, that's it. That's the end of this one. Like or dislike, I don't fucking care which. Till next time, fuck off.